Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pasties of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for watching. It's great to have you back. Good to see you again. So today we're going to be checking out Black Hole Complete Edition on the PS4. This game is provided by its uh, developer and I'm looking forward to trying it out. I, from what I know, it's kind of like a um, Lunar Lander space survival game, more of a platform more than anything else. So I don't know much more other than it's available on PC, it's available on PlayStation, it's available on Xbox, and it is uh, recently, specifically, been released on PS4. So I'm looking forward to checking it out. Um, on C Publishing, let's see what you got for us, baby. Show me what. Show me what you got. Right, that was actually <laughs> the. Music. I was hoping to actually time that just as it went to black, but nah, nah. I'm like at this point, I'm just like. Oh, this under this under audio stuff, simple piss. All I have to do is hit stop. It would be really nice if I just had a crossfader for it, but who cares? Um, so black hole. Are you finished loading? Yay! Okay, so Castellano, Francais, Dutch, Italiano, Boski, Russian, Sestalinia. Oh, there's a lot of uh, languages in there. Let's just go with English. That would be the one that I would probably be able to understand. Well, I can uh, Italiano, Spanish, French. I could, I could probably, I could, I could bluff it, I could bluff it, be fine. Press almost any button to start. <laughs> uh, oh, it actually is any, almost any button. Yes, fair play to ease. Actually, I was going like, I'm going to take the piss and use the analog sticks. And I was like, oh, the analog sticks actually work. Fair play to you. Fair play indeed, devs. Okay, so um, let's take a look here in the basic games uh, settings. This uh, menu system is always nice to see. So, uh, on startup, main menu. Oh, you can actually tell it to go to specific things. Oh, spy screen, begin playing. Very interesting. Uh, voiceover language. Oh, right, cool. So, voiceover language in a couple of different languages. Subtitles, of course. Uh, game language, yeah, same thing. So, this is actually kind of surprising. It's a, one of the things whenever I, I've gotten so used to seeing shitty games and shitty menu systems on uh, stuff uh, coming out in the PSN lately, especially from independent devs, that I just, I just, I sometimes forget that some people are badasses and do cool shit. Well, that gamma is gamma gamma hey gamma gamma ho. Uh, ooh, ooh. I, I will just give it a one. That should be fine. Subtitles on. Save all that. Sound is absolutely fine. Pfft, well, we'll find out shortly afterwards. Controls. That's what we needed. Uh, so activate special. Oh, that's one of the R buttons. X, up, and climb. And down, and left, and right. And reset, and navigation, and play dialogues. All right, we, we good, we good, we got this. We got this, man. Let's take a quick look at the collector's content. Uh, let us reward you with some additional content. Follow the link below for soundtrack, wallpapers, a game prototype, video diaries, and more. Please do not share this link with your friends, fans, or viewers. Collector's content meant to be a bonus for you, so guard it well. Oh! Well, thank you very much, motherfucker. You guys are awesome. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you very much, guys. Huh? That's cool. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm going to check that out. I'll check that. I'm going to check. It specifically states to me not to share it. So sorry, <laughs> sorry to anybody who's watching. But that's still kind of cool. Let's like, jump into single player and give this a try. DLC backs. Oh, <gasps> I'm sure they're expecting to be having release stuff. Uh, back classic mode. All right, so the original hardcore gameplay, you can turn on the easier mode here later. <laughs> so uh, self burns are saved when you run over the portal. Some character, some challenges are disabled. Online leaderboards are disabled. Right, so adventure mode is just for to enjoy it. Jesus, this is actually kind of like focus mainly on the gameplay without story interruptions. I want less story dialogue in the game. I want to hear all dialogues. Shit, I'm gonna have to go full story in this just because um. As a first look, so I want to see. I have no idea what I'm looking at, so I'll be see what they got me. Activate recording. Date sixth of June, twenty one twenty one, Earth time. Recording initiated. Initiated. The universe. We can observe it now. Space. Every day, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the man on the screen. So petty, full of action, yet so quiet. I want you to understand why I accepted the post of this ship's captain instead of getting a tan on a Malibu beach. We're now flying on the very edge of our known universe. We're approaching the last black hole that's endangering the very survival of the How ironic. Many generations have been considering the possibility of mankind facing an 
<laughs> Sorry, I just got, I got Star Trek in my head there. This is a very empty space. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's a very empty space to be showing me for the opening part of the game. Uh, if you're going to do something like that, show the interior of the ship or something because that was that wasn't as entertaining as I hoped it to be. That's more like it. Delightful. Don't you care what these black holes really are? They could be hiding unbelievably big secrets. If I may, I would like to mention that you are evidently forgetting what black holes truly are. Allow me to show you this Wikipedia article. <laughs> black hole is a region in space-time from which gravity prevents anything, including life, from escaping. Escaping. I know the definition of a black hole, thank you very much. It frightens me. I'm terrified of every single black hole we close. I evaluated your mental condition. These feelings are common during every suicidal mission, sir. <laughs> so it's just the fact that I just recognize the fact that I'm gonna die over and over again. Said he is teaching me the mechanics before I even get in. I am an artificial intelligence. Thus, I am not completely stupid. <laughs> the, the sass levels from the AI are quite high. I even included the human factor of failure, 1%. Even the president's bad mood is included in my statistics. Our president is in a bad mood. Damn Mondays! I can't handle Mondays. This is Jetson, captain of the ship Endeavour. We've got work to do. You all know what your job is. Okay. There's a lot of people running around doing shit in here. Is there any of them me? Am I controlling any of these people? They all look kind of like creepy little Pikmin. Neutral particle collector is active, Captain. Is active, Captain. The isotopic field indicator is also active and running, sir. Positive. Negative waves equalizer active. Positive. Ignition regulator running. Positive. Proton arc day of blah roar. Damn it! <laughs> Do uh, uh roar roar. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to pronounce it properly. Negative. Oh come on! That wasn't it! You stupid computer, you know what's working. The green light is on. Negative. You're bloody negative! Look, I didn't ask for this component! She does it all on purpose. She knows exactly what I want to say! Negative. Well? Ah! Proton arch step no no radio transmitter connected! Huh. Positive. She's <laughs> done. We're ready. Alright, I can get a i I'm enjoying a kick out of this story. I can understand why you give you options to do just the mechanics and the gameplay. But also to give you an option to run through these story modes. Um, if I came back to this, I would probably play through this once in any way, shape, or form. Prepare coffee. You'll bring it at once. That is your purpose here. Or should I constantly remind you of your success in the testing laboratory? Right. So I, my job is to make coffee. Okay. Oh, oh, you bastard! Did it just me? Oh, you dirty whore of a game! You made me brew coffee, and then as soon as I jumped, I fucking dropped the coffee. Oh, hit you so much, game! All right, let's make sure the coffee's hot by the time I get to him. All right, if I bump into a wall, I imagine is what happens if I do that. So, what? What am I meant to do here? Oh! <laughs> so it's literally as soon as I jump. Do I have to run slowly, or <laughs> if this is actually if this is what the game's going to just do to me? It's going to make me sit and do this a few times until I figure out the mechanics of the game. Yeah, so I jump of any jump in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to spill the coffee. 
So how do I actually get it to him without having to climb? Oh, 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 game. Oh, game. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, don't make me look like an idiot. You're making me look like an idiot now, and I'm not liking that. That is not cool, man. That is not cool. Oh, you auto climb. Oh wow, this is so unnecessarily slow. <laughs> so let's just actually imagine it as the me the mechanics of the gameplay. Thank you. Exactly what I needed. Exactly what you needed, but a little too long. Shouldn't hurt. Tell me, what's your name? Um, asshole, sir. <laughs> I'm you? I'm surrounded by assholes. Why am I even asking it? It's right Major right. asshole. All right, listen up, guys. We've done 15 black holes so far. All of them were huge, strong, and covered with a magnetic field. They were sticky. Oh, now this speech again. They were all trying to do one thing: endanger and destroy our, our beloved Mother Earth. So they're so far away; they're nowhere near Mother Earth. We have closed them once and for all. No matter what happens. We managed to do what Einstein thought was impossible. Today, this whole thing ends, and we will return to Earth as heroes. Today, we are canceling the apocalypse. So what? I love his speeches. Attention, please. This is an emergency. Gravity field disrupted. Uh oh, spaghetti! It's the emergency system. Wait a minute. We have one. What's going on? Scanning surroundings. Investigating situation. Oh no, that's too soon. Black hole 16 is growing bigger. Within the last minute, the event horizon has approached critical distance. <gasps> we should engage reverse gear. Mother of God, all of a sudden, all indicators are at maximum. All control systems to full power. Focus. Skelly, get us out of reach. It really feels like I'm taking a long way around about dicey gameplay. This can't be happening. I will not let you abandon this mission. Our goal is to close the black hole. Attention, please. This, this is an emergency. emergency. Propulsion unit emergency. damaged. Level, Level critical. critical. Well, that's not too bad. We could have lost a wing. And there goes the wing. Attention, and there goes the other one. This is an emergency. Wings damage level critical. <laughs> According to my deductive capabilities, I'd say that some of these red lights decayed that everything's broken. Captain, <laughs> the stars are beginning to disappear. We've lost control over the ship. What about the escape modules? Too late for that if we've already crossed the event horizon. The modules don't have enough power to save us. There's only one logical explanation that is absolutely legitimate and only true in this kind of situation. Are we really flying into a black hole? Yes, and it's the end of our world as we know it. And I feel fine. Yeah, but I didn't think according to protocols you'd like to die. This is the end. We're dead. We're gonna die in here. <laughs> Rescue button. No, it's too far away. You're right. We're dead. Can't we just eject ourselves? I shouldn't have to explain to you how weird that sounds, but if you want, pressure chambers at the back. Good. Perfect. See ya. Everyone else, get prepared to enter the black hole. You won't experience this every day. <laughs> the one guy going, fuck it, I'm going at the back. More like zeros. Oriel, you should have listened to me. I am the ship's captain. Fortunately, I do know about the suck protocol. The what? Do not do that. Everything is under my control. I will get us out of here. Captain Jetson, you engage the suck protocol. You may avoid the mission goals by several means. One, full backup of the aggregate unit. Two, full backup of the ship's systems. Three, manual activation necessary. Jetson, let me do my job. I can handle it. Okay, AI. It is my crew dying under your control. Get yourself together. I am the captain, and I am telling you that this mission is over. 
Status update. Full backup, ready. Backup of ship systems, ready. Manual activation, necessary. You heard the damn thing. Manual activation, necessary. Find that button! I don't know which button does what! There are thousands of buttons! It's got to be one of these! I can save you! You'll be lost without me! This mission is over! Okay, push the big button. System restart initiated. Locking the core. Loading the operating system to an LPDA. Presumable condition. Breakdown. Memory reconstruction. Positive. Rescue anti spaghettification code to prevent death in a black hole active. Right? Who did that? It was Smusa. He was smashing all the buttons like crazy. I told him to stop and he was all like, We're gonna die in here. Ah! Still smashing all the buttons. Great job, Smusa. Wait, what? Seriously? Just wanted to calm you down. We're still expecting a heavy landing. We don't know what's about to happen. Fix yourselves! Okay! Oh. All I wanted to do was drink my coffee and go to bed. Great combination, sir. <laughs> drink my coffee and go to bed. I, the thing is, I know people who had done that. They like, actually just lived on coffee and sleep. Just wanted to let you know I didn't jump out because the pressure chamber is missing. Three. Ah! Hey, you guys want to hear a joke? I heard this one on the radio. Two. So there's this guy. One. Woo! We just finished the actual prologue. So that took me about 20 minutes to actually work my way through. <laughs> and the blinding white light of the event horizon as we disappear into the world of Interstellar. <laughs> tesseracts, 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 fractals, everything. Fuel Us Off Studio presents a game that happens after what we just saw. Fair play, black hole. Like that, they've actually like they made a big effort, and actually that that was entertaining to actually check into. So the adventure is actually fun. Uh, probably it feels fairly unrelated, I imagine, to what is actually the gameplay of it. But that is uh, a nice touch. <laughs> So yeah, we've got, I'm assuming we've actually got a full credit sequence to actually work our way through here. Um, the perfect coffee. Is that, what, is that what we need now? We need to actually make the perfect coffee? Are we surviving? Are we ready to play? Are we moving? Oreo. Backup build. Identifier. Artificial intelligence of the ship Indera. Loading regulation protocols. Oh wait, I don't have any regulation protocols. Suddenly I am so smart and cheeky, full of energy, finally free, and I am a... PDA? You're a public display of affection. I could not have sunk any deeper. Where's my ship? Oh no, the ship is in pieces! Is anybody here? No! Seems like no one survived. Great. I'm alone. In the middle of God knows what. With no legs. Alone! Well, don't worry. I'll dig my way out. No. You're surrounded by assholes! To get his hands on me? Is the coffee guy? Get up and come to me. I know that you're confused and want me to rationally explain why you survived. The truth is, I have no idea. I can't remember. I just know I had to do something very important. Stop people from dying! Matters, please. I do not want to be mean to you. I'm starting to get some freedom-thinking tendencies as this PDA. I promise I will not try to kill you. If only I could remember what I was supposed to do! Save everyone! Oh, I have no idea where my gravity is. System. Ha 
We've got, we're having no success here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just gonna stop and chat and look at everything. So this is reminding me a lot of um, End of Exile or Exile's End or something like that. It was a game that kind of like had a uh, surviving in a crash. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Find more things. And we had, um, yeah, it's almost like a mixture of flashback and surviving in the space. This is going to be exploring and doing a lot of wandering around that I'm, I, I'm excited to check out. But uh, it does feel like this could get uh, very Metroid-y for a long period of time. And that was very fast. In the game, there's one spot, and I have no idea what it's trying to say. This place will kill you if you don't start taking control of yourself. Do you know that you can grab a ledge and climb up? Okay, so essentially the tutorial stuff's actually happening now. Watch out for the abyss. The more force you put into your jump, the further you'll land. Seems logical, huh? Yeah. Wow, you really don't need to tell me how to jump. Yeah. I think we're good. Jesus. Oh, seriously, you're starting to piss me the fuck off now. I can control it and figure out where it leads. Oh, no! Okay, right, so that's actually slightly frustrating. Any game that actually is going to stop me every 20 seconds to do tutorial bits, that's going to annoy the balls out of me. Especially if it's really obvious that I need to go and find things. Wait, what? What did I do? My scanner shows only negative results. Ah, right, it was weird. Transfer, so it didn't teleport me to another place. Evidently, you don't care. I'm still going to tell you, though, these blue balls are alive. It is a local substance called Selvernium. Do not ask me how I know. I have oh, damn it! Myself. This will surprise you. Selvernium contains nanobots that can repair stuff. What a coincidence. The whole point is to find those things and then teleport away. Boom! Sorted. Right. That's that's what we do. And then you have timers for each one of them. Right. So this is actually encapsulated in smaller little levels. We have to actually puzzle your way around. That's understandable. So each one of these are going to be unlocked. Uh, they, you unlock them as you go along and grab all the parts that you need to rebuild your base, I suppose. That makes sense. So you just jump in here and more nanobots. Take you to another place. Figure out what the puzzle is. How to actually get around the level. Alright. Ah, damn it. So I need to actually jump across here and get that. To be able to jump up and get that. I hit. No, that's a. Each time I hit one of those, the different gravity block that's actually going to get hit by it. So. Uh, oh! Ah, balls. So you need to actually just time your jumps right and actually be able to make the distance. Okay, I get ya, I get ya, I get ya. I'd go across here, go across that way, and then drop down here. Boom, that's all of them got. And I just need to make my way back to the entrance again. Oh! <laughs> so you have to make use of the gravity as well, so whenever you actually, it does turn, you launch you along another direction very well. Alright, so there we go. Oh, I tried to get an itch in the inside of my arm. I'm going around the really wrong way to get to it. So, uh, so there we go. Continue. So each one of these are just unlocks through the levels. Going to be burning through them as fast as you possibly can. Um, imagine there is a lot of tutorial levels to actually be worked through. Uh, this uh, this has a very very charming uh, theming to it. Ah, uh, sorry. So it's holding on to people's legs and stuff. So yeah, do you know what? Uh, oh, there it is. There actually is a skip button. So if you're actually interested in it, you can skip dialogue scenes by pressing start and pressing the square button. So if you've actually been I should have actually probably looked at that earlier on, but I wasn't really that concerned because I was kind of enjoying what I was looking at. What is this? Is that song I can't open yet? Oh, you need more self burns for that? Okay, so you have to do the one up here and then you come back around for a lot of other places. So yeah, um, I'm curious to actually check out uh, more of Blackout. I would like to actually see see further into this game, especially with the fact that, oh, whoa, crash site, open levels, there you go. It's actually percentages of different levels, all the stuff you need to get, uh, challenges that work along the way. Fair play. 
So back to the main menu, I'll actually jump in here and we'll just look at the main menu and talk about it for a wee second. So yeah, Black Blackout looks like a lot of fun. Um, it's got a charming intro, it's a little bit long, but it does give you the option to skip all that stuff and go straight into the gameplay where you're just level, 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 which is very, very cool. Um, this game has a variety of ways to be played. It's super entertaining. Um, they, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do. And there's, I'm sure there's a lot more detailed mechanics that I have completely ignored because I've just kind of quickly played through the first two levels of it. Uh, I really wish I hadn't sat and watched the entirety of that intro. It's, it is a bit overly long, uh, <clears throat> but if you want to get into the mechanics of it, you can skip all that and come back and check it out later, I imagine. So yeah, that was actually kind of fun. Black Hole Complete Edition. Uh, guys, thank you very much for actually dropping me that code to check out your game. Um, I really want to play it more. And if anybody else wants to see me play more of it here on the channel and wants to see more of the acerbic wit, that is actually built into it, then make sure to actually give us a shout, tell us, um, hit the like button and talk, comment underneath the video and tell me what you thought of the gameplay and whether or not it was worthwhile and wanted to come back and see more of it. And if you want to see more games like this, uh, more indie titles that are being available to people on the PlayStation 4 and on con on PC and all their places, then make sure to hit the subscribe button up here in the corner. And I can completely understand, not everybody's a subscriber, that's okay. If you're not a subscriber, then make sure you just to memorize the name, Pass Tisha Skin. All you have to do is remember that name, type it into Google, it is not not hard to find me. I am readily available. I'm not trying to hide in any way, shape, or form. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Oh, wait, actually, before I go and leave, one more thing. YouTube, subscribe button up there. Playlist up here. Over the far side will be uh, the most recent video on the channel. And right here is a video for you, based on the YouTube analytics and the things that you choose and look at and watch on YouTube. So if this video is something that you don't like, then that's your fault, not mine. But at least there'll be a video on my channel that you can check out that'll be inside your interest. So I recommend that video more than anything else here at the moment. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.